Hello my friends, it's Gabriel with The Last Huntsman Outdoors here. Uh, here I am going to be reviewing the Terra Knives Forester. I've been carrying this knife for, well, off and on for quite a while now, but pretty steadily for about a month now. I've been even taking it out to the lake and river with me, been carrying it in the lake and river with me. And so here I'm just going to finally wrap up the review on the Terra Knives Forester. All right, so here is the Terra Knives Forester. It's in uh, Magna Cut. This one, I think, is right around 64, if I recall right, what, what he had on his website. G10 Grips. It's what I would consider like that great like EDC size knife. A lot of people like something a little smaller. I personally like something around that like three and a half inch blade and uh, kind of less than eight inches overall. Got a couple more common knives to kind of sh show it next to. Here I have the SE3. And then here I have the White River Ursus Cub, rocking out those Lucas Carroll grips. Right here I have the Terra Knives Forester. It's got a couple little small pieces I'm going to just kind of turn into kindling. This is, you know, like I said, about three and a half inch blade, so it's not going to be some like heavy batoner. Going right through that knot of, of this oak here. has a full flat grind but holds up pretty good all right so my next little test here i'm just going to do some slicing here with the uh forester and i'm gonna kind of do my ninja death grip i took my glove off just kind of get a feel for it i'm just going to kind of see how it feels ergonomically and how it slices now, this is kind of a thicker knife. It's what I would kind of, it looks like it's right around 3 16 thick. However, it being a full flat grind, that really does make a big difference. And so this is a very slicey knife. The handle is kind of slim on the handle. For my medium sized hands, it fits pretty good. But if you just had like huge freaking ogre hands, then you might find that you might have to kind of do more of like a handshake type of grip with it. But for my medium sized hands, it actually feels pretty decent. Now I will say too, that this is not the factory edge. And that is one thing I will kind of knock this for um terra knives is a small company so it's awesome to see like you know new and small makers out there and honestly that's kind of my favorite knife company it's kind of the small companies and small makers however his edge right out of the box i was not like super impressed with right off off the gate um so i did kind of touch it up a decent amount and I feel like the overall grind and geometry was decent, but just his secondary bevel kind of needed some work. But I put it on my work sharp little table bench stone and worked on it a little bit. And it's great. As always, we're going to do some rope cutting here too. Just kind of, and of course that Terra knives with that full flat grind just glides right through that rope like nothing that was my fault let me see if i can double it up a little bit i don't think it's really gonna matter a 
like nothing. So it's like 90 degrees out here. It's hot. It's humid. It's nasty. I'm not going to do a fire. However, I will show that this Terra Knives... has an amazingly sharp 90 degree spine, which I'm always greatly appreciative of. A little bit more feather sticks. Pretty good. This is a very slicey knife, especially for how thick it is. Just gonna see about that sharp spine, get some fluff, see if I can use my ferro rod from Phil's EDC. Strike a little fire here. Some of my little fluff right there. go get some of my feathers going and there we go pretty quick and given the name the forester it should be able to do some forest type of stuff right not just there we go be decent do it more of a tent stake. And there we go. All right, gonna put that magna cut to the test. Got a little piece of oak here. Just gonna do some cross grain batoning. can give a little piece of cedar here too. Oak should be a little harder, but sometimes you never know, right? Holds up just fine. All right, so as always, I like to show you guys how I like to carry these knives and talk about the sheath a little bit. This is the uh, Forster here from Terra Knives. So I like to tuck it into my pants, use an ulti clip, and then just kind of conceal it so my shirt and stuff conceals it. So even when I'm at work, I always have a good little fixed blade on me. I've been carrying this one for quite a while. Let's uh, talk about the sheath. See if I can get it off here. There we go. So I can't remember exactly how the belt attachment came out of the box. However, I put an ulti clip on it. I put ulti clips on nearly every EDC size fixed blade. The Kydex sheath is actually pretty nice. It has just a slightest little bit of wiggle to it. And it does have a thumb ramp. If there was anything that I would change with this sheath, I wish it was just a little tighter. Not that it's coming out. I mean, it's going nowhere, but... Wish it was just a little tighter, and I kind of wish that thumb ramp was just slightly more pronounced, just to kind of actually kind of a good example. Here's Armatus thumb ramp, and here's the Terra Knives thumb ramp. So he has the right direction going. I would like to see that just slightly improved upon. All that being said, from a small knife maker and small shop, this is actually a pretty nice sheet. Go ahead and wrap up the review of the Terra Knives forester and kind of give my overall impressions on it 
I like this knife. Uh, it's actually in kind of, you know, my regular EDC rotation. I've been carrying this one, like I said, off and on for months now and pretty solidly for the last month. Um, there's just a couple little small improvements on this. But here's the thing. This is a young maker starting off with a knife company and he's hitting it out of the park right off the bat. And so there's just a couple fine refinement type of things that he can work on but all that being said i think it's a great knife and i actually suggest it um i think it would make a great edc knife it could even just the way that the handle is shaped and stuff could actually index pretty well and make a defensive little knife if you need it to god forbid and with that full flat grind it'd make a nice little hunting you know uh game knife too and just a general bush knife i think it would fill that role in all those categories pretty well but with all that being said be prepared both physically and spiritually god bless and carry on